Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're diving into the world of classic tech. We're going to learn how to add music to an iPod Nano 4th generation. This little device might be old, but it's still awesome for music. Let's get started. First, you'll need a computer. This can be a Windows PC or a Mac. Ensure your computer has iTunes installed iTunes is essential for transferring music to your iPod Nano. If you don't have iTunes, download it from the Apple website. It's a free download. Once iTunes is installed, connect your iPod Nano to your computer using a USB cable. The cable should be the one that came with your iPod. If you don't have the original, any USB to 30-pin connector cable will work. Plug the USB end into your computer. Then, plug the 30-pin connector into the bottom of your iPod Nano. Your computer should recognize the iPod. iTunes should automatically open. If it doesn't, open iTunes manually. Look for the iPod icon in iTunes. It's usually located on the left side of the screen, under Devices. Click on the iPod icon. This will bring you to the iPod summary page. You'll see information about your iPod like its name and capacity. Now, let's add some music. You have a few options here. You can drag and drop music files directly into iTunes. Simply find the music files on your computer. Then, drag them into the iTunes window. Alternatively, you can add entire folders of music. Go to File in the iTunes menu. Then, select Add File to Library or Add Folder to Library. Choose the files or folders you want to add. iTunes will import the music into your library. Next, sync your music to the iPod. Go back to the iPod summary page in iTunes. Click on the Music tab. Make sure the Sync Music box is checked. You can choose to sync your entire music library. Or, you can select specific playlists, artists, or albums. Choose the option that works best for you. Click the Apply button in the bottom right corner of iTunes. iTunes will start syncing your music to the iPod. The syncing process may take some time, depending on the amount of music. Once the syncing is complete, you can safely disconnect your iPod. Click the Eject button next to your iPod's name in iTunes. This will safely remove the iPod from your computer. Now you can unplug the USB cable. Your iPod Nano is now loaded with music. You are ready to enjoy your favorite tunes on your classic device. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Also, consider checking out my other videos. Have a great day.